It's an old jitterbug. It's been on a telephone pole for I don't know how many years. It's rusted out and we're gonna make it cool again, I think. Now that this white base coat is dry, I'm gonna use this little art tools Very lightly bring in some yellow to add to the belly. Make sure my paint's not sticking. Always the same thing on both sides. It'll probably be just a little bit different, which is fine, but got a little bit of a yellow going down to that white fade and then just a little bit of contrast in there. The three colors I'm going to be using on the back of this, I've got some moss green, some detail sepia, and my own olive green. I'll probably mix a little bit of white in there just to give it a little contrast before we put our dots in, but we're going to start with this olive green. Since we're only doing one bait for this video, I uh, don't need a whole lot of paint in the cup. This is probably too much, but we should be okay. So I'm just gonna randomly spray. Pressure is right around 15. Since I'm running a couple of different airbrushes these days, I'm gonna go ahead and use my other airbrush. Put just a little bit of moss green in. I do like to try and get on the inside of this. Just kind of keeps it more natural looking to have a little bit of consistent color in there when the back piece is swaying back and forth. Just a little sepia to finish this off. Really don't need a whole lot of paint here because your lip piece is going to be there, but you kind of want something. I think we're looking pretty decent there. all in the details how this pattern comes together. Now for this pattern, which is going to be a good old American Bullfrog, we're going to use a couple of different stencils to get the markings that we want. Primarily, it's uh, almost like a crappy pattern, but you'll see along the edges of the frog a little bit of uh, almost like a raw umber into white. So we're going to use this and then we're also going to use probably a smaller one just for minor details. So in raw umber, I'm going to add in a couple of drops. To get the mouth. And just kind of run down the side where its legs would be. And then in a pearl black, I'm going to be doing the top of the head. In 
this smaller detail. Come back to the back side of this. Some other details. I've noticed in most bullfrogs, at least in the North Georgia area, they almost have like a stippling, like a dotted system, not so much what you see on the head and the tail. But I might just take a pen or a paintbrush in black and just drop a couple of lines onto that. So I did find another little piece of stencil here by our good friends over at Anarchy across the pond. And I'm just going to lay in just a couple of light passes so this is what we've got so far now when we go back and do the eyes it, the eyes are almost like an orangish brown in a bullfrog at least in the adults so I need to first make this white so that we can lay down some different color in there. So I'm just going to be real careful and freehand this. Apologies for the noise, you guys. It's, it's actually pretty quiet for a compressor. A lot of you guys ask me frequently what compressor I use, and it's an eight gallon oilless California Air Tools. I've been running it for about six years now, and I love it. Um, it does get a little bit noisier the older it gets, but it's still a pretty good unit. Um, I have a couple of them. I run one upstairs for clear coat, and I run one down here for this. Um, the loudest part is that when it releases the air at the end of the pull. So that's just to keep the pressure balanced. So now we have a little bit of white. And I'm going to do the eye by hand, which is something that a lot of, there's a lot of really cool eye makers out there. One of my favorites uh, over at Jetson has not been producing in a while and I wish him the best. I hope he's okay um, Nobody has heard from him in quite some time uh, I know he was going through some health issues And I know that he had to stop producing for a while So if you guys are a frequent user of Jetson Lure Eyes, there are other t alternatives um, And I don't want to over speak because I'm not sure if um, If he's working again or not so um, Jetson, if you're watching this and you're out there, drop me a line. Let me know how you're doing. Um, we would love to hear from you. But uh, Matt over at Dead Meat is also uh, a really, really good eye maker. And I always preach community over competition. So if you get the chance, um, check out Dead Meat Customs. Uh, if you watch uh, Nate Marling at all, you probably have seen a lot of his work and a lot of the swim bait guys use uh, use Matt over at Dead Meat. So he's amazing as well. So those are some, some good options for custom eyes, but I think for the purpose of this video, um, I'm just gonna try and lay my own pattern in here. Now, what I just put in the cup was some burnt sienna some detail burnt sienna it's a wicked color pretty easily accessible most of the colors that I do for the purposes of videos are very easy to get your hands on I work with createx and wicked online offline I do a lot more with lacquers these days and alcohol inks and stuff like that we'll get into all that I keep promising that I'm gonna give you guys uh, a little video on all the stuff that I'm using but I'm just gonna lay this eye in Just like that. Same thing on the other side. I still have just a little bit of stuff left in my cup here. And I think I'm going to go, this is the Sienna, this is the sepia over here. I'm going to switch airbrushes because I think before I get out of this, 
the bellies are generally white, but I'm just going to softly add in a little bit of detail just to give it some extra depth on the belly. And then I'm going to pearl white over that because I don't know if you've ever picked a frog up out of the water or even if a frog's a bit your bait. Um, but they do look fairly slick. And I think uh, a pearl white will translate pretty well for that. Got some just basic pearlized white. Want to make sure it's shooting white. Because we're just going to come down and kind of drop that pattern into the background on the belly. And just a little bit up the side. I didn't put much in the cup because I really don't need that much. I'm just going to fade all that back. So that's our belly. You guys can see that. There we go. Let's put that eye in. I'm going to be using an Arteza acrylic marker. It's very important that you use a light, fast, waterproof, which is an epoxy proof, acrylic based marker if you're going to be doing any kind of hand painting on these. And if you notice, make sure I've got a flow coming through here, but not too much. A frog's pupil. is sideways and not vertical most of the time. If you're unsure of how to start, just make one line right across the middle and then just kind of open it up like a football. And there's your eye. Now if you want to get super fancy with the pupil, just add a drop, that's way too much, and a double zero paintbrush. Just barely dip the tip. And then on the edges, after that you've dried it, Same on the other side. If you need to steady your hand, sometimes I do. And just lay that detail in around the edge of the pupil. Now you have a hand painted frog eye. How about that? Not super hard, pretty easy, very effective. One more step that I kind of want to throw in here because I think it's cool and it works. Um, I've cut a little, not quite 100% round because it's hand free cut, um, but it's about 3 eighths of an inch wide for something about this size. We're going to put in that, that ear membrane that you'll see in there, usually right behind the eye, maybe up just a little bit. And then we'll make it a little darker in the middle with a straight line. Can even come back with some black and do that. Just behind the eye and up just a little bit. darker in the middle. We're going to go over to the other side. Come back and we're going to do just a little bit of shading with black. This is just a wicked jet black. Just to accent it a little bit. 
same thing on this side. Just to make that look a little bit more realistic. Get that lateral line in there too. We've got a frog. This is the American Bullfrog. All right, this is as close as we're gonna get. I'm up in the clear coat room. That's what I've got for you. Looks really good. I hit it with some 2K. Pretty, pretty happy with it. American Bullfrog. I will show it assembled in another video, I promise. Have a good day.